Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem app P-14 from RC Hippaler Mechanics of Materials 8 edition. According to this problem, a solid circular rod that is 600 mm long and 20 mm in diameter is subjected to an axial force of 50 kN. The elongation of the rod is 1.4 mm and its diameter becomes 19.9837 mm. We have to determine the modulus of elasticity and modulus of rigidity of the material. And we have to assume that the material does not yield. Since the material is not yielding, it means the material is still in the elastic region. So we can apply the Hooke's law. So for modulus of elasticity, so according to Hooke's law, the modulus of elasticity is average normal stress over the longitudinal strain. Let's call this equation A. For average normal stress, we have force which is P over the cross sectional area of the rod. P is 50 kN divided by the cross sectional area of the rod, which is the area of the circle. So pi by 4 diameter square and the diameter is 20 millimeters. So 20 exponent negative 3 is square. The average normal stress comes out to be 159.15 exponent 6 pascals. Now for longitudinal strain. So for longitudinal strain we have this formula of elongation of the rod divided by the original length of the rod. Elongation of the rod is 1.40 millimeters and the original length of the rod is 600 millimeters. So 1.40 divided by 600. So longitudinal strain comes out to be 2.33 exponent negative 3 millimeters per millimeter. Now we can substitute the values of average normal stress and the longitudinal strain into the equation A. The equation A becomes the modulus of elasticity is average normal stress which is 159.15 exponent 6 pascals divided by the longitudinal strain which is 2.33 exponent negative 3. So modulus of elasticity comes out to be 6.83 exponent 10 pascals or 68.3 gigapascals. So this is our first answer. Now we have to find the modulus of rigidity. So for modulus of rigidity, we can relate the modulus of rigidity and the modulus of elasticity with this equation. So modulus of rigidity is equal to modulus of elasticity divided by 2 into 1 plus Poisson ratio. Let's call this equation B. To find the Poisson's ratio, we have negative lateral strain over the longitudinal strain. We have the longitudinal strain, we have to find the lateral strain. The lateral strain is basically how much is the reduction in the diameter. So final diameter minus the initial diameter divided by the initial diameter. The initial diameter is 20 millimeters and the final diameter is 
19.9837 millimeters. So 19.9837 millimeters is the final diameter minus the initial diameter of 20 millimeters divided by the initial diameter of 20 millimeters. So lateral strain comes out to be negative 8.15 exponent negative 4 millimeters per millimeter. Now we can substitute the values of lateral strain and the longitudinal strain into this equation. So Poisson's ratio comes out to be negative negative 8.15 exponent negative 4 divided by 2.33 exponent negative 3. So Poisson's ratio comes out to be around 0 0.350. Now we will substitute the values of Poisson's ratio and the modulus of elasticity into the equation B. So equation B becomes Modulus of rigidity is equals to 6.83 exponent 10 pascals divided by 2 into 1 plus 0 0.350. So, modulus of rigidity comes out to be 2.53 exponent 10 pascals or 25.3 gigapascals. So this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, in the questions then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.